What's up guys? Welcome back. And in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to get input from the user. How to have the user type in things on their keyboard and get that information and use it in your computer program. It's going to be pretty sweet. So let's just go ahead and make a simple program just so they have something to type in. I'll have them like type in their name and the name of like their crush and it'll be like, hey, you're going to get married to this person. It'll be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and I got my mouse in the right place. We'll just go ahead and make a couple strings first because, of course, they're going to be storing their name in a string. So I'll just put that as a first name array and we'll give them 20 characters to work with. That'll be long enough unless anyone has a real long name. Um, another thing is Crush, which is going to be the name of their crush. Mine is Rachel McAdams. Going to get married. And the last one is int number of babies we'll say how many babies are they gonna have now the reason I want to have a different data type is because you actually have to treat this a little bit differently and I'll show you that later on so basically the first thing we want to do before they type something in is we always want to give them a prompt so that way it's like hey type your name on the screen if we just have a cursor blinking on the screen they're not gonna know um you know am I supposed to type in a number my name what the heck so let's just go ahead and add a simple printf and we'll say something like, I don't know, what is your name? And might as well pump that on a new line. Now, the function to allow the user to input information is scan f. Now, this is actually really similar to printf in a lot of ways. So you guys are probably going to like it. So the first parameter it takes is, of course, a placeholder which they are going to fill with whatever is uh whatever they type into the keyboard so since they're going to be typing a name we need percent s because that's going to be a string so the next piece of information is whenever we get this input what variable do you want to store it in well the first thing they type in the string is going to be their name so we're going to store it in first name right there so basically like i said whenever this line runs it's pretty much going to be a blinking line on the screen and whenever they type in something like Bucky and hit enter it says okay now store the string Bucky in first name so then we can just print it out and use it as a normal variable just like you know we've done for the last uh, like dozen tutorials or whatever so I actually can copy this because I'm lazy and the second question is how are we going to say like who are you going to marry? And of course for this one, you want to store in the crush array. It sounds like you like want to smash something, but basically um, it's going to do the same thing. And the last one, and the reason I needed int is this. We're actually going to use, well, we can actually copy all this. So for the last question, we'll just be like, how many kids will you have now of course since they're going to be entering a number we don't want to store that as a string we want to store that as a percent d for integer and for crush of course let's change that to number of babies because that's the variable now one thing that you need to pay attention to is this right before number of babies right before the n go ahead and hit the ampersand the symbol above the seven on your keyboard and you guys are going to understand exactly what the symbol is when we talk about pointers later on but for now just remember this uh, very general rule you need to use that ampersand symbol between every or excuse me before every single variable except arrays arrays have a pretty much a built-in ampersand it's I know I didn't talk to you guys about pointers yet but that symbol is already built into an array more or less so anytime you use a float, um, a character, an, an integer, you always want to put ampersand right before the variable name or else it won't work. Your program will crash. If you don't believe me, try it out. So now that they entered, definitely don't want to do that. All right, so now we have all of the information stored inside these variables. So let's just go ahead and print something out on the screen. So printf. And this will just verify that you know we have everything in there correctly. So we'll we will say something like uh, percent s uh, and 
percent s are in love and will have percent d babies and of course this will fill with the first name and then the name of your crush and what's this number of babies so hopefully if we didn't forget any semicolons or anything we can run this and check it out and I want to note one other thing before we learn this tutorial and how to use a scan out function our program basically ran all at once and then said okay return zero good to go however whenever we use scan f what's gonna happen is our program is running line by line from the top down so it's gonna say print f what's your name and that's what you see right here but when it gets to scan f it pretty much pauses your program and it waits to continue it until um, you typed in something so this isn't only a place that allow the user to type in it's basically pausing your program and waiting for um, you you to hit enter to tell it to continue so what is your name I'll hit Bucky hit enter and also another thing I want to point out is my crush is Rachel McAdams however whenever you use a space with scanf it thinks that it's the end of the string so never use spaces just go ahead and type in one word Rachel if you wanna um, like make a program to have a first name and a last name then you're gonna need another variable so you would put something like crush first name crush last name but for this simple simple program ugh, can't talk that's what we're doing so Rachel hit enter now Rachel is stored in crush and how many kids will you have I'll just put you know something small like 53 and hit enter so now it says Bucky and Rachel are in love she does love me and we'll have 53 babies or more probably more so hopefully you guys understand how to use scan F again it's really similar to print F this is how to pretty much give information to the user by displaying it on a screen and this is how to get information from the user and also remember this use the little ampersand sign before every single variable except when you're using arrays you don't need it so uh... well that's it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time